We are um, Dr. Sprouts R, and we're here because JP Morgan is the number one investor for fossil fuels. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's, they've got greenwashing on their site saying that they are in accordance with the Paris Agreements, but they're not. This climate emergency is a health emergency, and we as healthcare professionals feel that it is our duty to do something about this, so that's why we're here. So if I was in my clinic, and I saw a child being harmed in this way, and I knew the individuals responsible, I would consider them guilty. And that is why we are here today, to hold JP Morgan Chase accountable for the abuse and neglect of almost an entire generation of children around the world. So this lady, one of the healthcare professionals, is trying to speak. This is security from Canary Wharf. And what we're seeing right now, is surgeons being uh, manhandled. Is this how you feel uh, doctors should be treated? This man is hurting me. I'm here because I'm a healthcare professional. I'm really Can I stand worried up, about what's happening to my patients. Can I stand up, please? Thank you. Thank you. Colleagues just now, if you didn't hear that, she said, I'm here because I'm worried about the health of my patients and this man is hurting me. People dying every year from fossil fuel pollution and I have a duty of care to my patients. It is really important that we stop fossil fuel pollution. This is a code red climate emergency. I have a duty of care to my patients. Can I am I not up, leaving until that duty of care is acknowledged by JP Morgan. I am not going and you are hurting me. I am a nurse. My name is Maggie Fay and I am an NMC registered dementia specialist nurse. Many people die every year from dementia because of fossil fuel pollution. I'm going back. This is outrageous. This is embarrassing. What an embarrassment to JP Morgan. What a state of a company. I'm absolutely appalled. These people that are dragging these people away from here rely on our medical services to be able to thrive in this world and yet they are ignoring their critical warning that everybody is at risk if we do not do something. This is absolutely abhorrent.